TPC. Warmed up in the last couple of days, so I'm back on the balcony. Anything above 10 degrees Celsius, good enough. <laughs> as much as I love the shed, but uh, it's nice to be out with a bit of sunshine and warmer air. A lot of snow has melted, but I think in a week we'll get those snowstorms from the US coming back over, but it's good to have a little break <laughs> before the next one. Playing a bit of Pasha Bell here, probably recognise it, it's very nice pipe smoking music. On my Baroque uh, playlist if you want to use it. So today, I am smoking some Sutliff Mark Twain, which I've got a big bag of, two big jars like this jarred up. Makes a very good impression from the start. <laughs> and this is a Vowen Half Church Warden pipe. Which I got with uh, in Schaffhausen with John Panzer when we went to Portman. There's a video about that, and uh, it's a beautiful pipe. If you're thinking of buying one German pipe uh, for your collection, Vauen is a great choice and quality to choose from. few things to tell you about. Oh, my tamper is Jack the Piper, of course, Gandalf, in that beauty, beautiful jeweler's brass that he does, and beautifully sculptured. We're going to be great friends, Mark Twain and me. <laughs> That's not the same as the pouch Mark Twain's. This is the, the Sutliff match. But I think I hear good reports about both, depending on which one. But um, this Sutliff one, I must say, I, I like the taste right from the word go. It's always a good start. And my lighter is, so some of you may re remember this from your youth or seeing your granddad or your dad even with this Nimrod lighter, which I got on eBay. And this is the Admiral version. Cost me a bit more because it's a bit prettier and it's not engraved here and I won't engrave it there, pass it on to the next generation at some point. Made for pipe smokers, quite a big hole, um, it's fuel, you can't really put a gas insert into this, just turn this down a notch. So you have to draw quite hard to uh, get the flame, but it's uh, a bit like the Zippo, big, nice big flame, and you just draw it down on top, and it worked very well from the word go, even the char light was enough, so very nice lighter, and uh, kindly the guy sent me some spare flints up here. If you buy them with the box, of course, and the price almost doubles because uh, the original box is very rare, but this is in very good condition, perfect condition almost, to consider. This is from the 60s, isn't it? Nimrod lighters, very attractive, and uh, couldn't resist it. But it won't take uh, an insert, it's a slightly different dimension to a Zippo. 
but it's okay I'll, I'll just fuel it up on the day I want to use it and uh, I tried also the the grommets uh, inside underneath they're not the right size so those only fit for the zippos but what you could do is put the, the rubber band around here which would give you some fuel longevity so probably in storage when I'm not using it I'll put a rubber band or a, a rubber uh, grommet around it to preserve the fuel a bit a very nice lighter well yesterday a box arrived again this one and uh, the one in the thumbnail and I was really thinking, well, who's, who, you know, who's this is from, uh, you know, one or two other things from Smoking Pipes arrived. Um, and then I saw it's from good old Codders, my dear mate, uh, Smoking Cardboard, Steve Coddington. Well, I was just so delighted. And um, when I opened the box, I was bowled over by kindness and generosity of dear old Steve you know I sent him a box a while ago but he's absolutely trumped me because he sent me some Wisconsin cheese <laughs> perfect condition got got through the, the journeys of course the winter temperatures will keep it and it's beautifully vacuumed and I'm really going to enjoy trying this. Apparently Steve told me this is his favorite flavor. And of course there's a story there with all of the German and Swiss immigrants who sort of wandered across America until they thought, wait, we recognize this kind of land. We can farm it or we can dairy farm it. You know, we know what to do. And, you know, that's where they went, of course, Wisconsin. Beautiful lakes and little forests and uh, for lovely pastoral rich grass for the cows and you're off you know and it's still going today this wonderful cheese making tradition mmm thank you Steve very very much it's such a lovely surprise and a big big chunk of cheese look at that fantastic that's not all there's this lovely little box and look a hip flask. Well, as, as a matter of fact, I don't have a hip flask. And uh, Steve sent me this fantastic one, Wisconsin style hip flask. So I'm going to fill that up with some uh, bourbon or a bit of sweet rum for my next uh, walk in the woods. Take that with me. It's got a little uh, funnel as well to fill it up. Fantastic. I mean, Steve, this is beyond the bounds of, uh, of normal YTPC generosity, which is a very high standard anyway. My goodness. And that's not all. He sent me some tobacco. And a pouch of Sir Walter Raleigh aromatic, which is still my first love aromatic and still on the top shelf of my favorite tobaccos. So I'm going to enjoy smoking that, I know. That's so thoughtful, Steve. You've obviously been watching my videos very carefully. By the way, it's astounding how quickly they can repair a bell tower and how quickly they can get uh, a stereo electronic bell ringing uh, loudspeakers. I think it's from the other church and it just beams it to this one to annoy us here as well. So I'm waiting for the next electrical storm to come along, you know, of course. Anyway. Sorry to interrupt my presentation there. Captain Black Gold. I haven't tried this one. I'm very interested to try it. There's a lot of fans of Captain Black uh, 
all Captain Blacks, but uh, the gold I've seen very good uh, comments to, so I'm going to try that. And that's not all. What is the rarest, most difficult tobacco that everybody loves that is not being produced at the moment? It has to be Carter Hall. This is like Steve giving me a, a block of gold, you know, because you just can't get anything anymore, Carter Hall. Thank you, Steve, very, very much. I like Carter Hall, actually. It's uh, very close to my love for this one. And uh, it's a lovely, easy, always nice, always low maintenance, always no worries kind of tobacco. Any uh, starters out there saying, well, you know, give me one to start with, well, you would put them to toward this if you could get it if you could get it you know but you can get Chatham Hall which is let's say a, a it's, it's not an exact match of course it's uh, more like a relative you know but they would probably like that as well but I'm very very pleased to have some Carter Hall reserve here thank you Steve very very much I don't know what to say you're you are so generous and so kind. And do, if anyone has not been looking at smoking cardboards videos, please look at them because they're full of lovely, entertaining, it does absolutely fantastic videos and very humorous videos and, and very interesting topics that he picks to, to chat about. Always something new. So look in, smoking cardboard, Steve Coddington. Can't wait to try this. I've got an excuse to take a bit of a uh, little sip of uh, booze on my walks in the woodlands. <laughs> I'm going to put this back in the fridge. We're going to have some of this tonight, Steve. It's going to be good. Time to relight, I think. The other thing about this uh, is it's a windproof, you know. So very good. The other thing I wanted to tell you about very briefly is um, not so long ago I, I got another uh, pipe by Lee because I like them so much and Ethan gave me a, a lovely pipe you'll see in the clip here I did this inside because the light is better and it's not windy and it's easier to show things and I got a second uh, pipe by Lee which I must I'm very impressed with the quality of the pipe that they, they make but they're lovely pipes I must say so I've got a second one now anyway here's a the clip I made about them. Well, hi everyone. Um, I just thought I'd show these two estate pipes. As you see, probably from the last few videos, I'm adding a few estate pipes to my collection. And um, a while ago, very kindly, um, parsimonious. Piper, Ethan, he sent me a lovely estate pipe, which was this one. And um, I've learned, as most of you probably watch his channel, great channel, do, do watch it. Um, he talks quite often about uh, pipes by Lee. And um, if I close up here, you see it. Pipe by Lee here which is a great American uh, pipe maker. And I think they were very well known in around the 1940s, something like that. And this one was a three star. They usually have a little brass inset here, but of course with time they, they get worn away. Um, limited edition, it's a very nice 
briar quality and Ethan rescued this pipe and cleaned it up and because he knows I love uh, Prince pipes um, he sent it to me and it's a beautiful Prince shape uh, it's a lovely sort of um, smaller pipe but great for a you know a walk 20 minutes something like that or half an hour and I've smoked it two or three times with some Denny Krill crystals in the bowl as a filter because uh, this one has got a, a stinger on it and just one of these screw in sockets which is very practical because that means you in putting the, the stem in you will never damage it you know it's uh, never going to squeak and uh, overstress the the shank and it's a lovely pipe it really is so i got intrigued a bit and um mark you know, at tobacco pipes international presented this pipe which is also a pipe by lee and uh it's one he'd restored and uh this one has the three brass stars. They go up to five, apparently, but very few people have ever had a five, and the four stars are very hard to get. The most common ones are two or three stars, like this one. And it's also limited edition, Pipe by Lee. And it just opens up, and this one doesn't have a stinger. It's just the screw joint, but that's fine not quite big enough for a six millimeter uh, filter, but again, I will use the Denicool crystals. So I'm very, very happy to have these additions. And um, I think Pipe by Lee is, is a lovely make, you know, classic American make, and um, along with the Graybos and the K Woodies and many of them the custom builts and you know they've all got their little place and, and shelf and, and slot for american history and pipes and i think this is also one of those great classic names so just lovely now i've got two pipe by lee pipes and um we'll smoke them from time to time but as they're part of history i will look after them especially carefully. So my estate collection, small though it is, is uh, coming along maybe, I don't know, 10% of the pipes I have are, not more than 10% are, are estate pipes, but it's nice to have them and I, I do love the history as you saw with the Benson and Hedges case and I've got um, one more on the way, which is a, a very, very special one, but um, I'll tell you about that in a couple of weeks, probably, when it arrives. And then I really, uh, I won't be showing too many more new tobaccos or, or pipes because uh, I've got enough, I think, for the rest of my life, really. That said, one or two might slip through from time to time, let's be honest. <laughs> I hope you found that interesting. I hope you're keeping well, in, uh, especially in the east coast of America where you're fighting the snowstorms, but don't worry, they will move on as we get later into February and start in March, you get the thaw coming along and uh, there's Keenberg over there, that mountain, and the sun is just getting to the point, probably in a week he'll get over it and then all on the south side of the slope I'll have the sun up and not behind the hill and that makes a huge difference here, you know.
So you all look after yourselves. Take care. Get your jab. And spring is the coming. Not too far in the future. Cheers everyone. Bye.